Put your seven. <laughs> Put your seven seven seas. Welcome back to another Luke Games video. Back with some more survival for you, blood. This is a game that hasn't been out long. It's been gifted to me by Trevbox. So thank you very much, Trevbox, for that. I live streamed it last night. Absolutely in love with the game. I thought I would bring you a tutorial for people that have just started on the game and uh, they they die pretty early on, you know, because. I know how that feels. So today, this video is going to tell you everything you need to get started in Miss Survival. This video is going to be full of tips and tricks to get you going and keep you alive on your first couple of nights. So stay tuned. I'm going to go give you a whole load of tips on what's the best, one of the best bases to get started in, what tools you need, and what sort of equipment you need off the bat to stay alive on your first couple of nights. I'm going to be streaming this along with Scum quite a lot. So if you want more tips and tricks like this, go over to Twitch in the description below and follow me on and for X-rated videos that are too hot for YouTube and other content, head over to my bit shoot, which is also in the description below. And if you enjoy these videos and you want me to make this a series because I know how much you love the Forest series, drop a like and a comment to let me know. Anyway, without further ado, let's get in and give you all the tips needed to survive. Without further ado, let go! Right, so here you are. You start off in this little wooded area here and you've got a little camp set up. You've got different bars here. You've got the fatigue. It's very, I must say, this this is a very good game for people that love realism because this is one of the most realistic survival games I've found so far. Apart from Scum, of course, which I'm streaming <laughs> on Twitch, remember? So your stamina will regenerate slower if uh, if your fatigue's really low, you know, just like real life. So you have to sleep or rest to, uh, to get that back up. You've got shelter management here where you can um, actually find survivors that can help you do stuff around the house, you know, little tasks and stuff. The mist, the main point of this game is is a mist that uh, it's, it's got some biological weapon or something in it turns everyone apart from a couple few as yourself that are immune to it it turns them into raven maniacs basically zombies all right now now and again when the uh, the mist appears there's going to be a shit ton of zombies or whatever you want to call them mainly around the points of interest on the map they're normally around there also they're kind of like vampires in a way so if you're in the daytime they're going to be hiding in most areas they don't like light so the best way to kill them is to lure them outside and, and shoot them there because they, they can't come too far out. But if the mist's there, oh, they can run free. And also at night, all right? At night, I, in one live stream that I did last night, I hid in the toilet of a room for so long because they were all roaming outside and I didn't know how to get out. <laughs> it was really cool. Also, another realistic aspect of this is you've actually got proper fear when you come up against one of these things because they can get killed in a couple of hits if you come up behind them and stuff, but the, the damage is so realistic that one scratch could put you out of the game for quite a while, you know? And now, of course, we've got the bow and arrow, which I'll teach you how to make later on. Right, so here we go, man. And grills time. First thing you want to do when you've... Touchdown on a new island. <laughs> well, I wouldn't stay at this camp at all, all right? So first things first, you want to just pick up as much stuff as you can. These backpacks here, they can give you extra spaces in your inventory. So the more you can pick up, the, the more space you're going to have. We've got basic crafting over here. If you press R, you can get into basic crafting, which is just stuff you can you can build on the fly. And also, if you press B, you can get into the main structural buildings, like basic fires, uh, kitchen appliances, water barrels, a small cabin, stuff like that. But we're not going to make a small cabin because there's a really nice place that I found on the live stream that we're going to go to. Open this, get as much stuff as possible out of that. I think we've got matches in there. I've lost those on the live stream, I don't know how. So first thing you want to do is you want to start here. You want to turn left and go up this hill towards a motel. What you're going to find in the motel is just a couple of things to keep you going, you know. You press tab to get up your uh, the information on the left that tells you the time. The temperature, because you can get cold. Not sure if that's implemented right now, but just in case, you know. And there's your stamina, fatigue, thirst, hunger, and health. So I wouldn't bother picking up, like, now and again there's some sticks and stones and to break your bones and shit. I wouldn't... I wouldn't bother picking any of that up yet because we're going somewhere where there's going to be a lot of wood. Don't have to worry about any uh, any zombies being outside because it's it's sunny out and there's no mist, all right? So I'll tell you what sort of stuff you need to look out for and what you need to pick up on the way to to where we're going to make, uh, make our little base, all right? Uh, components, very useful. You can look in the trunks of the cars, not the ones with the blacked out windows, though. Don't even bother. If you see the one with the blacked out windows, you can't get in them. Uh, take all of this. We've got some food, some more components. Uh, we don't need to look at the front yet. Oh, it's a can! Oh, hello! Hello, can! Uh, what you can do, you can also look in the engine, which gives you car parts, but we're not going to do that right now. We are just we need to stick down, hunker down into a base, all right? And get enough nutritional shit to keep us going for the first few nights. But later on in the game, uh, if you want me to make a part two, I'll talk more about cars and stuff like that. You can uh, you can get a jerry can, and you can see there you've got 0 0.16 litres. You can get fuel out of cars, put it in a jerry can, and use it for yourself in your own little car. 
Metal scrap, very important. Go, that's a blacked out window car. You got some tires here, but we, we, like I said, we don't need that yet. We don't need that shit. I don't think there, there's anything in these, these motel rooms, these first few, anyway. Anything in here, bruv? No, nope, nothing in there, bruv. Well, I always look around the back of these as well, because you find some metal scrap by the bins. Metal scrap and components. I, I suggest getting quite a bit of this shit before you get to your base, all right? But I know what you're thinking. Hey, Ben, there's not much room left in your backpack. It's all right, because there's some storage in the place that we're going. Nothing in this first one. Like, I don't know whether uh, loot is random at the moment, because this game's been made by just a one-person, uh, a one-man team. Uh, and then he's, he's just started hiring people now, I think. So he's done really well. This thing is, it can run on almost all PCs, I think. It's really smooth. I've got it on Ultra at the moment. And it's just, it, it runs perfect. It's a perfect streaming game. As you can hear, there's some freaks upstairs. One of one of these rooms, I think it's this top room, uh, 201. Yeah, there's a party going on in 201. I wouldn't go in there right now. Just just go in these these areas. More <laughs> more components. Pick it up. Pick it up. Yeah. Yeah. Don't, it, the, the sound effects in this are really they they give you a shiver. Let's let's just say that they've done really well with the sound effects in this. It, it's it's creepy as shit. <laughs> it really is. Uh, they I think they can hear me. Can you hear me, guys? Yeah, they're in there. I think there's about three of them in 201. I mean, if you want to, you can go in there, but you're going to get scratched, and it's going to make life a lot harder. All right, you, know, you don't really want to do that. Rag? I wouldn't worry about rags right now. Uh, sewing kit? We could take one of those, but if you find any more, I I'd leave it. Uh, more drinks? A chocolate bar? Perfect. Uh, now, these... Before I go any further, these suitcases that you find around, we've got antibiotics in there, which is good for treating infections and food poisoning. If you're a bad chef, all right, you need quite a lot of these around. Uh, also, what you can do with these is you can move them. You can move them. So one of the one of the main uh, tips and tricks I've got for you right now, if you run out of inventory space, a good thing to do is put some uh, put some shit in this. All right, like this. Keep the can on, mate. You also got a hot bar down here. I forgot to say about the hot bar. A uh, hot bar down here where you can you can put some shit, you know, and you use number keys to get to it quickly. Uh, let's put all these components in here because they're, they're pretty heavy, yo. Almost everything in this, or maybe even everything, has got a time limit on it, all right? So you, I check the time often just in case it's coming to night time because like, no, that's not bad. Loot time to loot. Uh, everything in that suitcase is two minutes, which goes pretty quick. It's two seconds. A minute's a second, I think. But uh, some things like when you uh, later on when you hunt bears and stuff, uh, you can you can choose how much meat and intestines and stuff you want to harvest from the bear. But keep an eye on the time, all right? Because I I once did it and I took too much meat and then it was night time and I couldn't find my way back because it is very dark at night. You got a, a flashlight which you can use with L, but still it's it's scary. Bandages that's something you definitely need, all right? These things here. These bandages, get as many as you can of those puppies. I think you may be able to use rags to make bandages, but I don't know. Right, anyway, uh, to pick up your suitcase, just press M. You can just walk around with this now. Don't think there's any freaks in here. Now, this top drawer here, the, now we'll see uh, whether the, the loot is random where it's placed, because this, this chest of drawers here that I forgot first time around when I was live streaming, there is... Oh, all right, so the loot is random. I came back here later on, and I looked in this little chest of drawers here, and there was an M16 with some ammo in there. It's only like four bullets, but but still. Uh, bottles, I wouldn't worry about empty bottles right now either. Yeah, I don't want that shit. Oh, another suitcase. Can't carry two at a time, unfortunately, but... Oh, oh a car engine. Uh, we'll take that. Because you never know. Just after we've looted this place, we're going to go straight to what I think is one of the best places in the map to start a base. And, uh, and I'll show you around and stuff, because there's some... Uh, there's uh, one of the reasons, well, the main reason why it's, it's a... Shut up, mate. One of the main reasons why I think it's a good location is because there's so much stuff around. There's a car right outside. There's a lake. There's, there's a garage just up the road. It, it's awesome. Right, anyway, let's take our suitcase. Right, so you want to come out of the motel. You want to go... Uh, along this road just a little bit because the only thing that is bad about where we're gonna go is it's right next to a raiders base now raiders they're survivors but they've got a bad attitude all right they'll, they'll, they'll just do you in you don't want to you don't want to mess with them right now all right uh i mean we could always loot these cars on the way past too just in case there's stuff stuff in the uh the trunks uh we, we got quite a lot of stuff to get going, you know. So, yeah, as you're coming along here, there's a little house on the right. Black that window one. Don't want that. Oh, oh, yeah. 
Low oh with that, bruv. Remember with the inf inventory as well. Another top tip. The uh the inventory here is if you run out of space here, remember you've still got room in your hotbars. You can carry stuff all in your hotbars as well. So just in case you run out, you know that that's another top tip by Ben Grills right there. Nothing in that one. We're gonna leave this case right here in the middle of the road. I don't think stuff despawns in this game at all, which is good. Uh let's go quick check this house. Now this is a house that you can use to start your base if you just come up to a, a building like this uh, it's got one of these things here if you just click on it uh, it shows you the base settings you can set this as your base but no no we don't want this one as our base even though it does look really sexy uh, it's not in the prime location for sexy stuff nothing in here uh, axe that's one of the things you definitely need. One of the first things you should be looking for uh, is an axe. Uh, tools are the main things you need on your hot bar. You know, everything else can kind of stay there. But yeah, an axe. Axe is one of the main things you need. You can't... I'm not sure if you can build them yet. Oh, shit. The mist's coming. All right. Let's just close that door for now and ignore everything that's going on outside. Uh, yeah, an axe is one of the main things you need, which I don't think you can you can build. You may be able to build. Don't hold me to that. But mo the main things you need is uh, matches which we got, and an axe. Now, you should find these either in the motel, this house, or along the road before you get to your base, uh, because, yeah, that is essential. Right, so while the mist's here, I can show you the mist. Uh, I think it, it's kind of all right at the moment. I mean, we've got these things, which there's other survival zombie games that have got these on. It's kind of similar to that. Uh, you need a hammer. Luckily, it shows you the, the, the UI on this is pretty good, even though my face is covering kind of a little bit of it barrier durability 100 percent. you can repair this i'm not sure if you can put more barriers on i don't think that's a, a thing yet but most of these bases look like the one we're gonna go to is gonna have barriers like that and if they do get broken like at one point i was hiding upstairs and the mist came and i heard a freak downstairs <laughs> and i heard him bashing the door in i was like oh please don't come upstairs it's really scary that's the thing that more zombie games should do they should make it more realistic as if it, they hit you if they get a good good hit on you you've got a chance of bleeding out and just dying you know that makes you fear the, the zombies a lot more than in sort of like daisy where you can just run around them and shit like that we're not really at a poi well we're kind of a point of interest but not really uh, the place we're going to, there's going to be mist there. Uh, they come around that place quite a lot. But around here, there doesn't seem to be many on the road when the mist comes, which is kind of good. And, uh, yeah, they, they, they normally walk. They're walkers and shit. But if they see you, they will run at you, and they run quick. These zombies are like the flash. Oh, there's one. Hello. Oh, God, they're coming. All right. Uh, let's just close that and look through the window like a coward. Yeah, there they are. There's a couple of them. Yeah, they come with the mist. Sometimes you don't see many of them, though. But, uh, yeah, there's quite a few coming in now. This one, I bet this one's going to try and come up. If you do find yourself in this position, uh, don't go out in the mist with, with no weapons, all right? Best thing to do is just, just be a coward and just hide in a room and hope they don't bash the windows in. Uh, I think this one's going to come up. This one gonna come in. Now would be the perfect time to save it. Now, I'm not sure if I've got this on a different setting or with the update, the save game options there, but you can commit suicide there. You can save the game. At the moment, you can save the game, I think, whenever you want, which is good. Uh, not good for you hardcore survivalists, but I'm sure they, this guy's bringing out updates almost every day. So, you know, he's, he's adding new shit every single day, which is good. Uh, also got auto save on, which is, I think it saves when you wake up in the morning. Let's hope this mist goes soon. Because I'm scared a little bit. Oh, God, the other one's coming now. I mean, we could hit them with our axe, but I don't really want to tempt fate. I'm, I'm, I've, I haven't got much luck. Uh, my luck is very, really bad <laughs> when it comes to everything. I don't want to tempt fate and, and get scratched, you know, because then we have to start banjoing ourselves up. Uh, limping everywhere. Uh, our stamina will be down. Not really good. Oh, they're, they're going now. So, yeah, as I was saying, with these things, when they get broken down, you need it so tells you exactly what you need. It's, the UI on this is really simple. I mean, I know I had help from uh, the guy that gifted me this game on the stream, but it's really simple, really simple to do. It just says there you need one wood, uh, four nails in your inventory, and also a hammer, which we ain't got. I think the mist's going. Do you want to leave me alone, mate? I've, I've got to do stuff. I'm doing a tutorial right now. You want to go away? The mist's going. Piss off. Yeah, they, they don't like the sun. I, I don't know why. Uh, maybe they're cross zombie vampires or some shit. If it's sunny out, you're free to roam. Uh, I, I would worry, though, if you come across a base or any sort of house when it's sunny, though, because they'll be hiding in there, you know? It's kind of like I am legend in that way. All right. 
Mist is gone. Freaks are gone. Let's go get our little suitcase and get to where we're supposed to go. So, yeah, you come across here. Uh, motel's just down there to the left. So you come up this way, come past this house. Uh, when you get to the garage, which is just stop here, this place right here, uh, see a little, a little road going down. This place right here is a garage, all right? Uh, it's got a tractor outside. We don't want to go in there just yet. We want to get rid of most of our loot. So once you reach this garage right here, turn left, come down here. Now the, the bandits, bandits are going to be in that wood right there. So you don't want to get too close to that shit. You just come down here, right down the road here. You get to this little thing here, and then you turn left, go up over the hill and drop your, your suitcase for no reason. Get up over the hill. You doing mate and this is gonna be our base this is what i found uh i've traveled most of the map in the live stream what i found is this is the best location for a base it's pretty big it's got a bit of storage in it it's got a car outside it's got the road just up there with plenty of cars it's got a garage over there you can get some tools to uh to fix your car it's got plenty of trees around it's got a stream down here which you're gonna need uh, for water, to purify water, to keep you going. Uh, speaking of water, what's our thirst like? Thirst pretty low. You right click on something and click drink. There we go. The coke puts it up quite a bit. Which is good, I like it. And that scared me a little bit. So yeah, first things first is find this house. I've shown you where to go. If you can't find it, uh, let me know below. And I'll probably say to you, Why well, have you not found it? <laughs> right, bring our case in. Put it on this table. Don't worry about freaks. I don't think there's any freaks in here. We've got another saw here. Now, first thing I'd do, if I were you, is come here. All right? You want you to look in there. There's going to be shit in there. Uh, first thing you want to do is press M and move this. And I know it's going to take a little wiggle room. But get this out of the door and put it next to this one. I, it's just personal preference for me. I, I just like doing that. So... So the storage is right next to each other because I can't be asked to like go, oh, is it in this one? And then run in here and go, is it in this one? It's better to have the storage right next to each other, you know? Put that right there, like that. And then we fill shit up. Now to get rid of all your loot, put all your loot in here. You might as well. You might as well just get rid of it all. Uh, keep your tools. All right, you want to keep your tools in the hot bar and maybe a can of Coke. The metal in there, the engine. Uh, some stuff is stackable. Food, I don't think food is stackable, but but metal scraps and, and components, they are. I think you can get, you can stack them to eight, I think. I think it may be the same for ammo. Get all this stuff out of here. And then pour all that in there. More components and shit. Like, I would keep the components and metal in the same one, you know, just so you know how many you got. And they can stack, as you can see there. Yeah, stacks of eight. Stacks of eight is what you got. Uh, these tables, if you don't want these tables here, press 1 to get out your axe and your toolbar. You can take these down and it gives you wood as well. I'm not sure if it, I don't think they spawn back, but some stuff is destructible. You see a little white bar at the bottom and shit, and you get quite a bit of planks of wood. Quite a bit of plank, which we're going to put all our wooden stuff in this one, just because I like putting it in there. Right, so first things first, is I would go, once you've got all that stuff out, out of your, your inventory, all right, you want to go back up to the garage. Now, uh, the garage from this way, look at the house, turn left and go up this hill. It takes you straight to the garage. Now, the reason, the reason we're going to the garage is because they normally have a workbench in there. Here it is, here it is, right up here. You don't need to keep your axe out, it's all right, it's all right, lad. They've got a workbench in here. Now, there's not normally a freak in there, but I'd be careful just in case. And there's the workbench. So first things first, what you want to do. Uh, the workbench basically is, I mean, you've got your, your basic crafting. If you want to make stuff on the fly, just a little shit. You've got your structural building where you can make campfires and uh, water distilleries, tanning racks, stuff like that. But this workbench is where you have to go to make stuff like nails, which you're going to need. Uh, you can make matches. You can make different tools like a crowbar. A crowbar is something you're going to need. Because there's a quite a few rooms littered around the map where you can't get in. You need a crowbar. Crowbar's a good one. Uh, knife. A combat knife. If you can't find one, you can make one. Combat knife's a good for uh, stripping bark off trees. You can use it as tinder and stuff. Arrows. Uh, you can make a bow and arrow and stuff. So, what you want to do is you want to come... Loop this shit first. Before we go any further. Ooh. Get as much ammo as you can, because, you know, everyone loves ammo. Uh, another engine. We don't need that right now. S look at that. Oh, yes. Another suitcase. So, what we got in that is a shirt. Now, we have got an equipment thing. I haven't told you about these, actually. I'm not really sure. That's the, the basic crafting. We've also got harvest. Not really sure where to do that. 
uh, to be quite fair with you. <laughs> Status shows if you've got any injuries and uh, you need treatment and stuff. I'll talk about that in a bit. Uh, equipment, though. You can put stuff on yourself, you know, like scum. Uh, I've just got a t-shirt. I might as well just put that on because I'm running around naked by the looks of it. Right, so yeah, what you want to do is just uh, tire and another axe. Why not? While we're here, open these doors up. And the good thing about this is you can just nick the workbench and... Oh, before I do that, just found a car battery as well. There we go. Uh, yeah, nick the workbench. You can just move it and uh, and carry it back to camp, <laughs> which I did in the live stream. And I thought it was such a brilliant thing that you could... You don't have to use it there, you know. You can just pick it up and drag it back to camp. Sometimes it gets stuck on the trees if you're an awkward bastard, you know. But it's all right. Now, I couldn't get this in my my house. I wanted it outside, you know, because you want a bit of fresh air. You want a bit of fresh air while you're out here, so... Uh, I'm going to put it there, just because it looks good. All right, that's, that's the main reason. Got some more stuff that we can put in our our little lockers. Car battery in there. Uh, we got another axe. We got a hammer as well. We can put in our tool belt. I'm going to call that a tool belt from now on. Uh, we got a chocolate bar. I'm going to put that in the tool belt as well. After that, you want to go behind your house. So behind your house here, there's another house over there. Now, there is freaks in that, so I suggest getting a weapon first. Now, what you want to do is go behind your house and go up sort of diagonally. We're going to go back to that house that we were at when we hid from the mist, which is just around here somewhere. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, I, I, it's really hard to catch those chickens, so I just ignore it. Look at the speed they go at. I just ignore it for now. Now, around the side, not sure if it's going to be for everyone, but the last couple of times I've played this... Uh, it's been here, is you've got a water barrel here, which is perfect. You can, I'm not sure how much stuff you can put in it, but it's, it's 100 litres. You can put 100 litres of water in it, so I'll show you how to use it in a bit. Take that back, right, press M on that, move it back down to your, your camp as well. I like putting this one outside, uh, just here, right here. So straight off the bat, we've got quite a lot of materials. We've got some tools, we've got a workbench a bench right at our little base, which is perfect, and we've also got... Uh, some storage for water right there too. Now, I suggest at this point, save the shit out of this. So now what we're going to do is we're going to turn around, uh, go past this car, down here. Uh, now that I know that loot's random, it's randomly spawned, uh, this may be a bit more difficult, but we'll see. Uh, you get to the bottom of here, the river's to your right. Up here, you see, see a little, uh, little watchtower. I'm going to go up here now. There should be a weapon. I'm hoping there's going to be a weapon up here. But yeah, you need to you need to start quick, really. Look, just like any survival game, you know, get get on your feet and get your shit together uh, before the first night. <coughs> <coughs> sneeze twice before you go up. Uh, you have to do that, all right? Or it won't let you up. You got to sneeze before you go up here. Twice. Uh, beautiful view, I must say. Uh, looks like the mist's coming in again, which is a bit of a pain in the ass. Anything in here? Yeah! Right, it's here again, so I'm thinking maybe the weapons are in the same place. So yeah, if you just come up to this watchtower, there should... Don't hold me to it, but there should be a, a shotgun. I didn't know you could do that. You could rest. You could rest a little bit on a chair. Uh, we've got some more components in here. Uh, some beef cans, some painkillers. Oh, upgrade inventory again, bruv. Extra two slots. Uh, we got stuff in here. That's why it's good to always... Whenever you go back to your base, always empty your uh, your inventory out, you know, because you can just go off and get some more shit. Anything in here? No. I don't really need more than one suitcase at the moment. So, we got ourselves a shotty. Brilliant. Uh, I'm the, I put that on my one slot just because I can. Uh, just so it's quick to get to it, you know. It comes with, oh, what have I got? Two rounds, better than nothing. So now... We can go back to that house that's by our house and and get in and attack a freak. And if it hits us, then all the better. I can show you how the damage and that works, you know. So here we are. Uh, there's our house. Our house is just there. So this one normally got uh, some freaky deekies in there. Yeah, you can hear them. <laughs> some more components. Rob some shit outside. Anything else around here? Some logs. Uh, unlike the forest, you can just put logs in backpack. <laughs> They just stack up because you're a bit of a hard man, you know. Need stuff around here. Some firewood. Pick that up. Why not? More firewood. Anything in this car? Oh, just just grab grab everything, basically. Just grab everything. All right, let's try and draw one of these outside if we can. Jesus, they do run quick, though. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> right. 
<laughs> you say as soon as it hits the sun, it, um, it runs back inside, which is why they're always indoors uh, in the daylight. You can see how they, they run quick, though. They, they hightail at you. They've only got two shots, so make them count. <laughs> Being a bit of a wimp, but I don't want to get scratched. Shall I get scratched just for the hell of it? I've got some bandages. Why not? Scratch me, bruv. Scratch me again. Alright, it doesn't seem to be injuring me for some reason. Piece of shit. Oh no, I run out. I run out. I don't oh, know the sun's gone down. He's after me. <laughs> that's, that's really weird. He's hit me quite a few times and I haven't been injured. Maybe I've just been lucky. Hello. I <laughs> oh, knocked you out, bruv. Oh, he had a potato. A potato on him. Nine millimeter ammo. Thanks for that, lad. Uh, so I'm guessing... Oh, my health is really low, though. My health is hella low. So, yeah, you have to worry about your health as well as injuries. Uh, I'm not sure why I didn't get injured. Maybe maybe he just cut his nails so it didn't hurt when he scratched me. Uh, can of fruit is good if your, your thirst is low and your hunger is low because it, it sort of puts up both, which is good. Uh, yeah, here we go. You can, you can also get a lock pick. Not sure where. Uh, but the crowbar's what you use to, to get into these areas. I'm pretty sure they're storage areas. Get some electronic parts, some bandages. Health, I think, regenerates. It just regenerates slowly. Self-explanatory, it would regenerate more when you're sleeping because the time speeds up. Right, so it's getting to night time. Let's go back. Uh, now, I know what you're thinking. Hey, Ben, why haven't you made a bed yet? You don't have to make a bed straight off the bat, all right? You, you need the bare essentials first. Let's close this. Wood in here. Minecraft shit. Loads of room for the ammo and stuff. We need to keep the shotgun shells on us though. Uh, you can also do stuff in your, your inventory. You can uh, do stuff like if you've got eight, like an eight stack of these, you can split one, which means you just take one out of the, the eight stack, or you can split it in half, so you've got four and four. Stuff like that, which is also very good. Next thing you want to do is you want to get a bucket. Now you can, you can find buckets. I'm pretty sure you can find buckets or you can make one, which is four scrap and one component. Split that in half. Put it on the floor for no reason. Into the crafting stuff of the tutorial. Crafting stuff, uh, as I said before, it always shows a time. You can obviously click up and down to make more than one if you've got the components essential to it. You can assign work to an AI where you can pick up survivors, like I said. Bring them to your cabin. Get them to do the work for you, because why should you do the work? Uh, or you can craft it yourself. It's 45 minutes it takes, so it should be quarter to seven uh, for you UK people or 6.45 for you Americans. <laughs> craft yourself. Get a bucket. Here we go. Working queue. Hell yeah. Go straight in for you into your inventory. Right. Next thing we want to do before it gets dark, even though it's getting very dark already. Uh, you press B. You want to go to the third one, I think it is. Water purifier. This is the next thing you need. You need a bucket. You need six metal, eight stones, and some firewood. Even though we haven't got the essentials, you know, you can click it and put down the blueprints, just like you can do with the forest, you know? Place it right about there. I'm not sure if we got six metal. We got six metal? I reckon we got six metal, man. Hell yeah, we have. Uh, firewood. Is it four firewood? Got full firewood there, look at that. So you will need another bucket, obviously, because you need this one to uh to make the, the purifier. Click uh click E on it and it will start start building it. As you can see, it's done all three. All you need is eight stones. Do another little save, because why not? It is night time after all. L for the flashlight. Let's quick look for eight stones before any freaks come. We haven't even looked in here. Nothing in here. Alright. Uh yeah, the freaks will be out. Also, if the raiders are no the only thing that's a pain in the ass about this place is the raiders. Uh, the raiders are just up there. If they do see flames and, and flashlights at night, they will come and have a look and see what's up. I was building a nice little campfire on my live stream and they started shooting at me. <laughs> I was like, can we not just coexist next to each other? I think it's a bit too dark for this shit, you know? There's one. Plus, my health is still pretty low, so you don't want to draw too much attention towards yourself, you know? You have to be very wary of bears as well. Uh, the bears... They run hella quick, also. They scare the shit out of me. <laughs> I'll, d I'll just say it. I'll say it now that the bears scare the shit out of me. Like, you do even... If you don't see them, all you hear is, like, grunting noises and footsteps. Like... <laughs> coming towards you. You turn around, there's a bear there. Uh, it's... The jump scares in this game are, are definitely next to none. Uh, one of the, the most terrifying aspects. <laughs> is that stone? Uh, stone too. 
There we go. Water purifier and the the water barrel right next to it. Okay, guys. Uh, I've had enough of you for one night. So, first night, uh, if everything goes to plan, guys, you should have quite a lot of material. You can see the... You can see them up there, look. <laughs> so, you should have quite a lot of material. Uh, you should have got the water barrel back here. Should have made a bucket, got the workbench, uh, made the water purifier. At by by, I'm gonna give you till what time I've got here, which is 8:38. If you haven't done it by then, fucking uninstall the game. So yeah, you don't need you don't need a bed. You can sleep on the floor. I'm pretty sure you you get better rest if you have got a bed. Press seven on your keyboard. Find where it goes green. Left click and sleep for. I'm gonna sleep for eight hours because that's a good night's sleep. I'll see you in the morning, guys. <laughs> So as you saw just then, uh, your thirst and hunger go down shit quick. <laughs> so first thing you need to do in the morning is get a little drinky poos. I think you can drink them straight out of the storage, actually. I think. Uh, we got some uh, low-grade fuel. We don't want that. We got any meat? Ah, here we go. Some beef cam. Yeah, you can. You can eat it straight out of the storage, all right? Water goes down quite a bit, but it's all right. We get some more water. We get some more water today. Save it. Save it, guys. Always save it, all right? Beautiful morning. All right, so first thing we want to do is we want to build another bucket uh, to transfer the water up, which is four metal, one component. Hopefully, we got enough. See, this is the reason why I said loot as much as possible uh, when you first get here. Put some shit in the storage. Go loot some more. Put some shit in the storage because you can just do all this so much quicker when you got it all, you know? Here we go. Get a bucket. Make another bucket, bruv. Craft myself. Hell yeah. Actually, a minute goes quicker than a second, doesn't it? There we go, got the bucket, put the bucket in your hot bar, and go down and get yourself some dirty water. Now, I'm not sure, <laughs> not sure, you know, let's put the light on, Jesus. I'm not sure what it's like at the moment, if it's implemented, but I was really thirsty, and I took a drink out of this, this water. I'll show you what it says. You come up to it, it says, E to fill up, uh, F to drink on safe water, V to fill up a bottle. If you've got an empty bottle like Daisy, you can fill it up in that as well. It says unsafe water. I'm not sure if it gives you a free one on your first chance. Uh, or I was just lucky. But if we fill up the bucket, let's, let's have a look and press F to drink some. Maybe it's not implemented yet. Let's just go into my status. Yeah, it seems to be alright. I mean, it could just be that it, water poisoning isn't a thing yet in the game. But as of this date, it seems like the first, at least the first time, you can do it. We got our water here, bruv. Let's bring it back up to camp. Oh, this camp looks beautiful. I've gone the wrong way. My, ca my camp's over here. <laughs> I, I love how this works. How the, um, like, purifying and stuff work, you know? Right, so you do. Uh, when you come up to this, if you want to use something that's already in your hand, uh, it won't let you do it. Like if I came up to this here and tried dragging this water in... It won't let you do it because it's it's already in your hand. Press 5 to get it away. Or whatever key it is. Put it in your inventory. And then you can put it in here. So what you want to do is you want to put the water in here. Uh, this here tells you what you need in your, your inventory to be able to make this work. We haven't found a knife yet, which is a bit of a pain in the ass. Uh, put some logs in here. So what you want to do with logs, open up your, your basic crafting. If you've got logs in there, uh, you've got an axe as well. You can make firewood on the fly. We need four. I think you get four firewood out of, out of a stack of logs. Yeah, stack of logs, you get four firewood. Uh, we also need a match. Just one match, though. I I'm very nervous about... Because it's still early access. I'm very nervous about putting, like, a whole stack of matches <laughs> just in case they go missing. So, you don't have to drag these across. You just need to have them in your, your inventory, you know? So, we got... We got the logs there, it shows you there, four out of four. We got a match in our inventory, one out of one, so all we need is tree bark. Now, tree bark, uh, you can get tree bark every time you hit a tree if you've got a knife. You do get tree bark if you uh, if you hit the tree with an axe, but not as often. Normally, when you hit a tree, you've got the little, little thing at the bottom, little bar to tell you when it's going to fall down. Uh, it gives you leaves, branches, and occasionally tree bark. And because I haven't got a damn knife at the moment it looks like tree bark gonna take a while to get <laughs> what do we need we need four as well ah when you hear that clonk sound that's that's a bit of tree bark falling off look at that oh timber on our car jesus goes straight into logs like it does in the forest 
leaves this log here. I'm not sure if you can hit... Oh, you can hit this log. What does this log give you then? You can hit the stump too. Oh, it gives you another log. Ah, cool. I like it. You like that. There we go. We got everything we need in our inventory. So all we got to do now is we got to put this water from the bucket, which is 10 litres. I uh, want to give it to this thing here. Just press give and it gives whatever's there into the distillery, which is this thing here. So we've just put the bucket of water into this thing and then what you want to do is you want to just press distill we've already got all the stuff we need in there and click distill and the little flame comes on and what's going to happen here is uh it's got 10 liters it's gonna you don't need bottles of water at the moment anyway the making of this video you don't need empty bottles of water at the moment you don't need anything to hold it in it just when when the uh it's distilled enough it empties the the clean water into its own bottles here so yeah next thing uh we obviously need which i'll do if you want me to do another video i'll teach you how to uh cook food and uh, keep it you get salt if you put salt on it it lasts for longer i'll teach you how to put a drawing rack up and i'll also teach you how to make a car and go for a drive all right so if you want part two make sure to like the video and comment down below and say yeah i'll make a part two man i want to know how to do how to cook stuff by ben grills himself anyway hopefully you enjoyed if you want to see another episode of this you want to find out some more stuff about the game in the second one i'll teach you about uh the damage how the damage works in the game also teach you how to do up a car and also i'll show you how to cook food and keep it preserved for those long winter nights remember if you like the video to like below and comment if you want to see part two of this if you're new to the channel make sure to subscribe remember to follow me in all these talk sites on the side of you and yet check down there if you want help support me on patreon check the bell below to get notifications on my latest videos and i'll see you in the next one pirates peace out